Welcome back everybody, Ollie from Flight Comp. And we are working on the CCM two meter slope glider. I'm not gonna mention the name because YouTube has gone absolutely crazy with some new regulations. And I don't wanna get in trouble. Uh, if you just search for COPPA FTC in YouTube, you'll see all the crazy shenanigans that are going down right now. Anyway, um, it is the uh, CCM 2 meter slope glider build and we're going to work on the ailerons in this part. Um, I knew that installing the ailerons, the aileron servos would be a little bit of a pain in the butt because the wing is so thin out here. Um, you have to run a really short horn and you can only really use like a hand launch size servo. I'm using X08 pluses on the ailerons. Uh, so after much head scratching and pondering, I finally came up with a solution. So I have really tiny arms on these XO8s. Um, and I'm using an L bend at the servo end and a two meter, uh, two millimeter clevis at the horn. And I don't know if you can see this here, but I've really ground down part of the clevis. Let me put this one here. Ugh. So you can see I've ground this side down a lot compared to how the clevis looks. Um, use a Dremel with a sanding drum. Um, and that is because this portion of the clevis, this is the top side, it ends up hitting the top skin here, or this fairing, this shroud, and you can't get any up travel out of your aileron. So to get clearance, to get up travel, I've ground this down like this. And here I have a MP Jet brass coupler, and this bit of rod is a 1.5 millimeter um, just regular steel rod, and it's soldered together, or soldered if you're in U the UK. Uh, and there's a very slight bend. You can see it's not straight. I put a very slight bend in it, and that is to, again, aid in getting clearance um, on the upstroke of the aileron so the linkage doesn't get into the top surface of the wing. Um, yeah, so here is the horn I used. This is for the other side. And you can see I drilled a 1.5 millimeter hole. Um, very short. And it even gets into, it even gets into the hub a little bit, the hole of the, uh, output shaft here um, and just you know just that distance there barely clears the servo cover and barely gives you enough throw I mean I think we'll get full throws um, but but just barely so we will be using the full travel of the servo which is always a good thing and I have this NARC solutions uh, servo frame a little bit of plastic underneath to keep the servo from getting glued in Here's the RC Solutions frame, and then XO8H+. And this is the threaded coupler right here. This is part number MPJ2005 or 2005. It's a 1.5 millimeter coupler with a two millimeter thread, and just a bit of 1.5 millimeter rod. And of course, the metal clevises here. Now, maybe if CCM is watching, they will do us all a favor and include four more of these clevises, some 1.5 millimeter rod, and some 1.5 millimeter couplers, so you can outfit the whole wing, because none of this stuff comes in the kit. Okay, anyway, I need to do up the other servo, put it in the uh, tray, and... Uh, finish up the arm, and then I can move on to bonding the servos into the wing. All right, I finally got the aileron servos installed here on the uh, toy two meter 
oops, I said the name. Oh well. Um, and everything came out pretty good. I just wanted to show you the throws I managed to get with the super short servo arms. If we could turn this around. To get the up travel here. So that's full deflection. And you can see it's quite a bit. So we got definitely we got enough deflection um, both ways. So that came out really nice. Um, now the last thing I need to do is just put a uh, block um, on the other side of this uh, L bend to prevent it from uh, slipping out. Just sort of a safety precaution and then um, we can hook up the servo lead to the, the harness and put the cover on and that'll wrap, wrap up the aileron servos and then we can move on to the flaps. So I made a little um, like block or stopper for um, the linkage so it won't pop out and it's just a piece of uh, Roacel foam with some scrap carbon glued to it. Uh, you could also use balsa wood or hardwood or something similar. And basically I'm just gonna slip it in here and glue it in place. And I'll do one for the other side as well. All right, I got the blocks glued in to retain the uh, aileron linkage. It's just a row cell foam with a carbon uh, face on it. And I just used some a few drops of 30 minute epoxy to hold those in and that's all cured. I have the uh, wire hooked up to the harness and over here I've already uh, installed the clear servo cover which is this guy here and I use some of this uh, pacer canopy glue to uh, hold it down and that'll take overnight to dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, install this cover on this guy and that'll wrap up the aileron installation on the CCM 2 meter slope glider. Hope you guys enjoyed and maybe found some of this information helpful for any kind of build you might be doing and I will see you guys in the next one.